Vigyan Bhairava Tantra, Vigyan Bhairava Tantra. So today's verse says, fluctuate or go back and forth from form to formlessness and from formlessness to form and know that the two are complementarities. At least that's the translation I'm giving you right now. Form and formlessness go together. Between every perception, which gives rise to form, between every perception, between every snapshot of that, is the formless. And it can go even further. Between every experience is the formless. That means between every perception, between every sound, between every texture, between every taste, between every smell, between every uh, picture that you see, between every object, between every breath, between every other sensation, between every thought, between everything you can possibly imagine as experience or see as an object is the formless. And that which we call form and phenomena is also the formless knowing itself as that form and phenomena. Shiva and Shakti go together in the ecstatic dance of the universe. So we are the universe in ecstatic motion. But as a body-mind, we are the universe in ecstatic motion and entangled with all other beings which are also the universe in ecstatic motion. And there is only the dance. There is only the ecstatic motion that appears as form and phenomenon. But it is the liveliness, the bubbling liveliness of the formless that experiences itself as the ecstatic union of the masculine and the feminine in its own self. So that which we call ultimate reality is neither masculine nor feminine nor um, form of any kind because that which we experience as form and phenomena is just the dance of the formless, knowing itself as innumerable knowers, modes of knowing, and objects known all within itself. And this is actually, in a way, the ultimate experience of love. Ananda Shakti is pure love, not as a mere sentiment, but as the ultimate truth at the heart of uh, um, the universe, that the matrix of experience of all sentient beings actually arises from a singularity that is beyond space and time, but experiencing itself as the theater of space, time and causality. Um, and that is the ecstatic dance of the universe and you are that sat chit ananda tattvamasi aham brahmasi all mean the same thing okay so we'll continue i'm i'm traveling so it may be a little sporadic uh, but i'll keep my attention on the vigyan bhairava bhairava tantra as our uh, means to uh, joy and enlightenment here it is it's all joy starts with joy maintained by joy returning to joy ananda never-ending joy